So the first one is actually be prepared. You wouldn't run the financing like you would run a marathon without any training, without any preparation, and you'd be surprised as to how many people I meet who have just not done their homework. They come to me, they know, sort of, that I'm an investor, I do consumer internet stuff. They come to me and they say, I have this great cheap idea. You know, this cheap company that if you invest 100 million, I have a 12 million dollar fund, could do wonders. <laughs> they haven't really done the homework to figure out who I was, what I was investing in, was I conflicted, is there a reason for me to be interested? They have to, you have to, right? So figure out in your preparation who are the right VCs for you to talk to, come up with a list, look at what they have invested, make sure they are conflicted, i.e. they have funded things that you compete with, and then come up with a short list of those people. A short list should be like maybe 10 people tops, and figure out how you get to them. Because sending them a blank email, like investment opportunity, dear investor, and boom, an email, is not generally not the right way of doing it. Um, but see, the other day I received an email where 20 of my friends were copied on it and were actually made fun of that email for at least, you know, 10 minutes. Um, not CCing the entrepreneur. So, do your research, figure out who in your network can get to these people and then try and meet with them, ask for introductions, and for those sort of people who can make recommendations, you should meet that guy. The likelihood that will take the time to actually meet you and have you in our office is much, much higher. So be prepared. The second is be focused on the strategic outcome. What are you trying to achieve with your company, with that initial pitch of one minute that you'll do as soon as I'm off the stage? The answer is get my business card so that we can actually have a conversation by email and then we'll figure out whether we want to meet. Strategic outcome, get the first meeting. So you gotta come to the first meeting, get to the second meeting. You'll never get a term sheet, you'll never get money after that first meeting. Actually, no, uh, Mint got my money after the first meeting. That's the exception. There's always exception. Um, Mint, yeah, very cool company, try Mint.com. Um, <laughs> I'm always, always plugging my companies. Always, that's what I do. Um, be a good listener, in the sense that VCs will rarely tell you that you really suck. So if ever, or body language, if ever, we sort of tell you, are you sure this is really the opportunity you want to work on the next like, three years? <laughs> um, be a good listener also is, you know, part of being prepared is finding the right people in your network who will give you the, the truth, nothing but the truth about this idea, will give you constructive feedback and really help you to sort of figure it out. Being a good listener is being able to take, and that's hard, being able to take that feedback, figure out what, I should, what is actually good in it, and sort of stay focused and have the determination of the entrepreneur. Because the entrepreneur will continue and you know keep his, head, his or her heads down for month and month and month with people saying, this doesn't make any sense. And the problem is that it might make sense. And someone, many, will tell you it doesn't, Many will give you ideas, suggestions, feedback that might make sense to take on board, but keeping the mission and focusing on it is what you do. That's the difference between an entrepreneur and an employee. Be paranoid. That's a good phrase as, oh, one minute, I had the one minute kill sign. Um, I wasn't watching it. Um, never count eggs before they hatch. It's sort of the, 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 French, uh, the French, uh, French translation of I wouldn't say. Um, <laughs> because it was a bit rude and I was told I couldn't have a B in the um, English. So, everything goes well, and you have this financing button, then you know, the VC hasn't called you for like a couple of weeks and you haven't heard from, it, from their lawyers or whatever. Something is wrong, go after it. Do not try, you know, try and be very sort of on top of your financing. Don't try and sort of have it happen to you and think that things are great if nothing is happening. Because you have to feel that there is a progress happening. I've had the fortune of being involved in a lot of M&As as well. I've had five years in my, in my portfolio. There always has to be an engagement. Always has to be a deadline that you're going to meet. Always has to be something that you know you're pursuing. And if you don't, then that thing could go away. And sometimes, Deals get blown up at the very last minute, so be on top of that. Um, I'm going to get a kill sign, but the one thing which I will tell you and share is that we have to be ready as well. We have to listen as well. 
three, four years ago, I met that guy at a conference who approached me with that very funny looking sort of stance and email address, burrito, and that unpronounceable, something I couldn't remember, and was talking about the value of links and database and the future of the web 2.0, and this thing was dl.icio.us or whatever, and for the life of me, I couldn't remember. There was Joshua Schachter, and I said, nah, I'm not interested. So be ready, listen, and you know, over to Rob. Mm -hmm. <laughs>